Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome to Eben Tech Studio. Once again, I want to thank you, audience and viewers, for watching my videos on YouTube. I will plead with you again to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and then share to and then click on the notification bell to get notified of every content that I put on um, my YouTube channel. So today I have gotten a lot of questions on how to project multiple um multiple scriptures at a time you want to have different versions um versions of the bible on on your output how do you do that okay so actually um every software and its advantage and disadvantage okay so when i'm using them um, there are some of the softwares i use them in combination in combination with the other so for instance i use um this one a software called sunday worship so sunday worship gives me the ability to um um, display two scriptures at a time two versions of the scripture at a time so you can have niv and nlt going live on your screen or amplified and message bible going live on your screen so i use i switch between sunday worship especially when it's time for scriptures that is what i actually use so depending on um, what software you are familiar with some may have advantage over others some may not have certain features others may not others will be having those features this is not a uh, software that i use for song projection because when it comes to song lyrics um it's not good in that especially with certain of songs it's actually not good in that though it can project songs and do other things but i uh, actually don't um use it for songs but let's say i want to have multiple versions of the bible so that is two it supports two and i like two i don't like three the reason why i don't like three i don't want the content to look so much on the screen for me no i don't like it that way i just want to so today i'm going to demonstrate with our local language we want we have the ever or the Aigbe, what we call Aigbe. so when you have installed sunday worship you have to install your bible versions too as well so over here i have other bible versions that um i've added or to my um to my databases and then i have um second bible so first of all you have to choose your first bible you can set your second bible to none i'm not going to take you through everything here this software is very simple but i actually want to demonstrate how i do that okay so how i go about it looks like easy worship 2009 it has the same interface and that is very cool so first of all you choose your main bible which becomes your first bible so if my first bible is um new living translation matthew chapter one i enter my bible reference over here um let's start with john 3 16 i enter john then i can either enter g O H um and then hit the three it moves to john chapter three for me so i just go live this is my live screen but i have to select my output because i haven't connected any physical monitor or external display like um projector or tv screen to my laptop uh my mon my monitor or my prime monitor or laptop monitor becomes my main monitor so that is what i actually use for that but i'm not going live so if i go live right now it's it will show on my screen okay this is how it's going to look like so let me just hit back and then this is my live screen now this is what we consider our live screen this is our preview okay so this is what we do i just select my secondary bible okay just select my secondary bible to be niv okay so when i select niv this is my niv bible i can hit on this one to go live my niv goes there so you can select between um up and then down or top and then bottom display of the multiple versions you want to uh, have on your on your screen or you can choose the side by side that means um this is the side by side is the left and the right so this is what i actually use so um basically this is it but let me show you the airway so this is my airway this is my tree bible and i have it there so that is my tree bible i use so if it is genesis 1 your first your first bible will be the one that will be uh um, will be loaded and then will be in the list view okay so but your second bible will just be added to it so my second bible is at the right 
and then my first bible is at the left that is the airway is at the left and the tree is at the right if i want it vice versa i can just choose my first bible to be the tree select the airway to be my second bible and then it swaps that way i can choose the top and bottom view usually i like to use this one okay i like to use the top and bottom so that is it it's very nice and it's very cool so if um it's time for scripture and i'm just switching between other presentation software that i'm using i don't close the other one but i just use the life and the height okay i've just told you i'm using my same the same laptop monitor as my screen so that's why i go live and then it covers the whole screen but um this is what actually i um i do every day okay so that is it i can change the background from black i like to use black because um it makes reading visible i don't like to use any background that would distract reading because the most important aspect of all these projection things is that people will be able to read and then get the word of god understood but if you use some kind of background that will take away the mind of the people then you are not being a good presenter so if i want to change my background i will click on the settings scripture display settings it doesn't have much settings okay it's just basic so if you are going for basic things and then you are not going to do complicated things then free worship would be very good especially for the scripture that is what one thing i like about it then i come to picture i choose browse when i choose browse um i go to my desktop and then i use this picture i open up i click on ok i have it there i go live so you can make settings for scripture, settings for song, song, the same thing. You just set your song, um, how you want it to look like, the look and feel, the, uh, the font size and uh, other things. These are basic and they are very simple too. So this is how you'll be able to project multiple screens. I know there are other softwares that you can, you can use it for, but for me, this is what I use because I want two scriptures and I want it to be done in a, f a fast way and very simple. So I don't go for any complicated things. I use the other one for song display and other stuff. But when it comes to scripture, and if only I want to project two scriptures at, at a time of different versions, then I'd rather use this one. Because it's the message that is the most important thing, not any other thing else. So have a day. So thank you very much for watching my video. Like, subscribe to it, and then give a comment. Or if you have any question, you can send it to me via the WhatsApp line, the Telegram, or the email. Okay. So thank you for watching the video. Bye.